one, two work together. All right, so again, we're gonna click um, to view our instructions. It says electronic warehouse has two departments, audio and video. A purchases journal, general journal, and partial journal and accounts payable ledgers are provided. The balance are, balances are recorded as of June 1st of the current year. We need to post the following transactions when journalized. One, transactions impacting the accounts payable subsidiary ledger, and two, transactions recorded in the general journal. Source documents are abbreviated as follows. Um, I'm not going to read through those. Number one, we need to journalize the transactions completed during June 1st of the current year. Use page six of a purchases journal and page six of a general journal. Post the items that are to be posted individually. So we have, um, what is it? One, two, three, four, six transactions that we need to journalize. Um, our first one is on June 1st, or sorry, June 3rd. We purchased audio equipment on account from Davis Corporation, $1,625, purchase invoice 243. So two hints as to what journal it goes in. First, it tells us that we purchased um, merchandise on account, and then it also gives us a purchase invoice. So that tells us we're going to go into our purchases journal. Um, let's see here. How do I want to do this? I'm going to move some stuff around so that we can have our instructions. Let's see if that works. Okay. Oops. So first we need to select our journal. We're gonna go into our purchases journal. Um, next, um, we need to put in our date. So it's June and the third. Okay, this is where we're going to put in our vendor. So it's gonna be Davis. Notice, again, it pops up. So I'm just going to go to the next one. My purchase number is 243. Okay, I don't need to put my post reference in yet. I'm not posting. And then my amount, my amount is 1,625. Okay, and I'm buying audio equipment. So I'm gonna put that into the audio side, 1,625. Okay, next, on June 5th, um, we returned video equipment to two, TPC Supply, $42.50, from purchase invoice 239, debit memorandum 38. So seeing that we have a debit memorandum, that tells us that we're going to go into our general journal. We're returning something. We're not making a purchase. So I'm going to put in my dates, June 5th, and we're returning to TPC Supply. So I'm going to do accounts payable. And notice it's going to pop up again. I'm returning it to TPC, so I don't need to type that all. Um, my debit memorandum 38. Don't need to put in a post reference yet. I'm not posting. And I'm going to debit that for 42.50 since I'm returning it. Next, I'm going to credit my purchases, returns, and allowances. Here, I need to make sure that I pick the right account. We're not returning audio, we're returning video. Okay, and I'm going to credit for $42.50. I don't know if you can see that. There we go. Okay. Next one, we purchase video equipment. We purchased video equipment on account um, from TPC Supply. Um, let's see here, $995, purchase invoice 244. So I'm purchasing equipment. So I'm going to go to my purchases journal. My date is the 8th. Um, I'm purchasing from TPC. My invoice number is 244. And I'm purchasing $995 worth, and this is going to be video equipment. So I need to go to my video column and $995. On the 12th, we purchased audio equipment on account from National Industries, $1,100. So the 12th, 
and I'm purchasing from National Industries. Um, my purchase invoice is $245. And I'm purchasing $1,100 worth. And that's going to be audio equipment. So I'm going to go to my audio column. $1,100. Next on the 18th, I received an allowance on audio equipment from National Industries 165.80 from purchase invoice 245 debit memorandum. This is going to go to my general journal. The date is the 18th. I'm going to debit my accounts payable, and that's going to be National Industries. Um, I have debit memorandum 39. And I'm going to debit that account for $165.80. Okay, and then I'm going to credit my purchases, returns, and allowances. And this is audio equipment. So make sure that you choose the audio. Okay, the last transaction is for the 23rd. I purchased audio equipment on account from Davis Corporation, $820. I'm going to go to my purchases journal. My date is the 23rd. Oops, yep. And I'm buying it from Davis Corporation. Purchase invoice 246. And I'm buying $820 worth, and that's going to be audio. So I'm going to go to my audio column, 820. Okay, next step says that I'm going to prove and rule the purchases journal, and I'm going to post my totals. So I'm actually going to maximize this again. So for my totals, I need to put in my last date. So um, hopefully you remember June is going to be the 30th. I'm going to label that as totals. And then I need to add up my accounts payable credit. So I get $45,040, and or $45,040, sorry, not $45,000. And then I need to add up my audio. $3,545, and my video is easy, $995. Okay, I want to add up and make sure that my two purchase debits um, do equal my one account's payable credit. I add those two together and they do equal 4,540. So I'm good there. Okay, so now we're going to be posting our totals. Um, so here I'm going to go to my account's payable credit. I need to go to my general ledger here and I'm going to find my account's payable. Open up that account for me. Put in my date of the 30th. My post reference. I'm on purchases journal. Page, page of mine, six. Okay, I have a credit to that account of 4,540. And then I need to find my new balance. New balance is 8,789. And eight cents. Last step is I'm going to take my account number and put it up underneath my total, showing that I have posted it. Hmm. I don't know why. We're not going to post that to 210, so I don't know why that they have us doing that, because that is incorrect. I'm going to have to look at, see what they do later. That is not correct. Hmm. Okay. All right, moving on to the next one. Let's go to Purchases Audio. 
purchases audio, the date is the 30th. Close reference, we are on P6. This we have a debit to $3,545. We need to find our new balance. Our new balance is $2,000. Thirty-four and ten cents. Okay, account number fifty-one oh five goes up underneath. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> Let's just try the fifty-one fifteen. I don't know why they have this wrong. All right. Okay, let's go to video. Let's see. Sorry, you guys. New pro or new kind of view, and I don't know what's different here. Why it's doing this. All right, so we have a purchase debit to video for 995 Um, Our debit balance. Have twenty nine thousand four eighty four point zero eight. Okay, account number is it going to let us type it right? Nope. Huh? Did I read the directions wrong? Let's go back. Prove and roll the purchases journal and post the totals. Yeah, we're supposed to post the items individually. I don't know. Let's keep on posting and see what happens. All right. So Davis Corporation. Um, the date is the third. Just P six. Um, Davis Corporation goes with the accounts payable, so this tells us that we're going to credit that account for sixteen twenty-five, and we're going to find our new balance. Okay, two thousand six hundred fifty-nine dollars and twenty-three cents. Account number two ten goes up to our post reference. Two ten. There we go. Goodness. All right. TPC supply. Find that one from our list. The date is the eighth. P six. Um, we are going to credit that account for nine hundred and ninety five. Our new balance is three thousand three hundred seven and forty one cents. Account number two thirty goes here. Okay, National Industries. The date is the twelfth. P six. We have a credit of eleven $1 hundred. Find our new balance. Two thousand two point four four. Count number two twenty back into our post reference. Next one, Davis Corporation. Twenty third P six. We have a credit of eight twenty. Find our new balance. Three thousand four hundred seventy nine and twenty three cents and account number two ten goes back up. Okay, so we are done posting our purchases journal.
we're going to now go to our general